Good morning guys, today we're looking at fraction, percentage and decimal equivalents. So remember, equivalent just means equal, so the same. So two things that look different but mean the same thing. So, nice and simple, if you've got a fraction and it's over 100, all we need to do is change it straight to a percentage. So 39 over 100 means 39% which is the same as 0 0.39. So you can see, we can see the 39 in each of those. So 78 over 100 is 78% and 0 0.78. 15 over 100 would be 15% and 0 0.15, nice and simple. The only slightly trickier one is this one at the bottom, the eight over 100, which is 8%. But when we turn it into a decimal, we need to remember it's 0 0.08. Don't forget that zero. Right, what do you do though when your fraction isn't over 100? Now, remember when we did equivalent fractions? We need to make an equivalent fraction which is over 100. So we need to change 5 tenths into something over 100. So we need to change that denominator. So how do we change a 10 into 100? Well, we times it by 10. So remember, whatever we do at the bottom, we do at the top. So we times the top by 10. So 5 tenths is exactly the same as 50 over 100. And now we can change it into a percentage and a decimal. So 50 over 100 is the same as 50%, which is the same as 0 0.5. So 5 tenths is the same as 50% and 0 0.5. <coughs> right, 2 over 20, same thing. We need the denominator to be 100 first. So what have we done at the bottom? We've times it by 5. So we do the same to the top. So 2 twentieths is exactly the same as 10 over 100, which is 10% and 0 0.1. So 2 twentieths is the same as 10% and 0 0.1. Remember, change the denominator to 100. How many fives in 100? It's 20, so we times the bottom by 20, times the top by 20. So now when we've got 20 over 100, we can change it to a percentage, which is 20% and 0 0.2. So one fifth is exactly the same as 20% and 0 0.2. Right, these ones are for the extension questions on your sheet. So sometimes it's not quite as easy as simply changing the denominator to 100. Sometimes we've got to be a bit sneaky. So if we've got 6 eighths, now if we want to change that into 100, don't know off the top of our heads how many eights are in a hundred. Now if you do, brilliant, use it. But if you don't, sometimes you can use this trick. So instead of making my fraction larger, what I'm gonna do is find a smaller equivalent fraction. So instead of six eighths, I could change it to three quarters. Now once I've changed it to three quarters, it's much easier to change in a hundreds. So I think how many fours in 100. It's 25, so I times the denominator by 25, I do the same to the numerator, so I have 75 over 100, and then it's quite simple to change that into a decimal and a percentage. The other way of doing it is we need to remember that 6 over 8 just means 6 divided by 8. 6 divided by 8. So we could use bus stop and use what we learned last week. So we're doing 6 divided by 8. Remember, whatever you're dividing by goes on the outside of the fraction. So how many 8s in a 6? Now that doesn't work. So if you remember our decimal division from last week, we know you can put point zero zero on the end and then we do 8 and 6. It doesn't fit. So we'll carry the 6 until we get our answer of 0 0.75. And then we know 0 0.75 is the same as 75 over 100, which is 75%. So there's two methods there you can use with those trickier ones.